So as we're looking at the damage potential of the sugarcane aphid, uh, going back to one of the insecticide trials I did in 2016, uh, we made comparisons of the damage ratings during the, the growing season and we related the damage levels that we had at different times of the growing season to what the yield was at the end of the season. This was a particular test that was treated once and so we can see the different levels of infestations and damages over time at, based on uh, the differences we get with the insecticides and whether or not they control well or not. And so this particular uh, graph shows on uh, 15 days after application uh, we were at the full flower and a half bloom stage and we initially have the there's three uh, dots there which really represents the Savanto treatments and we didn't have uh, very little damage the one that's on the at the very end at the lower one is untreated and those four dots in between are the other insecticide treatments. And with those, at that particular time, we had a damage levels of three, and it didn't correlate to the yield. So we came back and made damage ratings and counts again just at 20 days after, another five days. And you can see in that period of time, in those four uh, dots there in the middle, that it shifted the level of damage quite a bit. And this was at the full flower, at full bloom. And then whenever we start looking at the milk stage, at 27 days after application, then it shifted those four dots even further to the right. And so we're starting to get a relationship of how much damage we have. And what this is telling us is that it's very important to be protecting your sorghum during the flowering and the early milk stage as you get past the, the soft dough stage and the hard dough stage, you don't seem to have that much more damage. If you'll go to the next slide. And so this shows that when we have a little bit more damage on some of those by the hard dough stage and soft dough stage, we don't see that much of a change in a reduction in, in our yield. When you look at the three top do dots, up at the top, those were the Savantos. The control began to break down by the 40 days and 47 days afterwards, and we had a little bit of damage, shifting that over to damage of three or four, but it really didn't cause a significant yield loss. So these are saying <clears throat> the damage is already done. The and damage is already done by this particular time. It, and our recommendation to protect the top half of the canopy you better go ahead and get that insecticide out quickly because we went from an average rate 30 percent of the canopy gone to 60 percent of the canopy gone in five days so right. there's no time to wait now these numbers don't take into account lodging which is going to be severe if harvest is delayed and we have a situation where we have damage ratings of six seven eight ten and that's true and the, the damage ratings that were up into the eights and tens, they did have more lodging than what they did with the lower damage ratings. 